Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the difference between the engineering stress and the true stress. So I will try to explain the difference between these two types of stresses with the help of example. First we consider the engineering stress. So let's consider that this is in that this is my steel bar and is loaded in tension by applying the forces, tension force on both sides of the steel bar. So I can define the engineering stress as engineering stress will be equal to the force per unit area. But the main point is that we consider the area of this object which is not actually reduced. If I consider if I consider this is my steel bar and I apply the tension force from both sides, so the area of this object should be reduced in reality. But we don't consider that the area of this object is going to reduce we take the original area of this object by applying the tension force while in reality this object area has to be reduced but in this case in the engineering stress we call we take the original area of the object original area we don't take the reduced area of the object so the force which has been applied is a tension force divided by the original area of this object and the original length of this object is taken in the engineering stress analysis so this is called the engineering stress. Well, if we consider the true stress, in the case of the true stress, we can define as force per unit actual area of the object. Now this is called the actual area. In this case, if I apply the tension force on both sides of the object, now this object, upon applied the tension force, this object is reduced in area while increased in the length. It's the reality of object. If I apply the load, this object will increase in length and reduce its area. So that's why we call this the actual area of this object. Now this is the same steel bar but in this case the area of this object has been reduced. So we take the force divided by the actual area of this object which has been reduced in this case and this is the L length which has been elongated. So this we call is the true stress because it is it gives us the true value of the stress at each point. That's why we call it the true stress. So the main difference is that here we take the original area of the object. We don't consider any reduction in the area of the object. While here, here we consider the actual area which has been reduced due to the application of the tensile forces. So now the, the other difference between these two of the stress is the graph of stress and strain. So uh, let's cons this, this is the stress and strain graph of the uh, two different types of the stresses. Is the, I can, is as it show it that the blue shows the true stress while the black shows the engineering stress both have the same graph up to the g up to the proportion limit and then uh, up to the elastic limit and then the yield point they both show the same value they both uh, show the same trend but after onwards after the yield limit the engineering stress goes to the ultimate limit and then comes down as a failure this is called the engineering stress with which we actually deal in our life. While the true stress don't show the same behavior as the engineering stress because we don't take the original area, we take the actual area which has been reduced. So that shows the different behavior. This was all about the difference between the engineering stress and true stress. Don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.